Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome back to Superliminal. Thank you all so much for coming out for the very first episode. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you go check it out. It's the video just before this one here. Um, but yeah, I was so happy that so many of you are enjoying these puzzles and enjoying the very trippy nature of this game. But we're going to keep moving forward. So we've just woken up from, I guess, one dream into an even deeper dream. And we're going to be moving ahead here. So we still have these random doors, this random office space. We're just going to keep going. Ah, yes. Apparently I missed one of these pulley levers in the last episode, too. I was notified of this. Oh, huh. never noticed that before. Was that new? Little chess pieces? Also, if this is the first video of this that you're watching, you can't be bothered to go check out the other one. This is a puzzle, first-person puzzle game that deals with perspectives and changing the shapes of things and sizes and it's really cool it's very very clever that's really all you need to know oh hello okay i guess we're just in here push bar to open okay ah yes oh 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 it's getting too big let's get you right over there so many fire extinguishers I don't think it actually does anything doing all the fire extinguishers, but I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep on doing it. <gasps> Employees only. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> they bolted it down to the floor, are you kidding? Same with you, little dice block? How could they do this to us? How could they ever? Something's... You hear that? It's like... Bloom. Huh. I'm assuming I... Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming I need to... grab the door that we had over here. Hey, yoink! And we can just drop your hair. Perfect. <laughs> you can't tell me what I can't do here! Suckers, we're on our way. Blue. Oh, one. Oh, two. Oh, 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 sweet. Okay, got a little bit more funky music going on. What's number four? Very goofy. This is like elevator jazz. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, this is smooth jazz. No, no, this is smooth jazz. This is smooth jazz. Ooh, lo-fi hip-hop? Back to number one. Which one do I want? I like this one. This is this is a nice little tune. It's very relaxing. Okay, we've got another door. <gasps> More fire extinguishers! More fire alarms. Bloop. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no! Okay, wait, we're doing something completely different here! Alright, ready? Ready? We're gonna go full speed. We're gonna go full, full speed. Ready? Set? Okay, wait, what? Uh, oh no! <laughs> wait, can I push him down like dominoes? Uh, please. Oh, I can walk up him like stairs though. So wait, what happens if I just like sit here and spam the button? Oh yeah, that's a lot of doors. <laughs> that is a lot of doors. Okay, well, how do I know what can and can't do that? <laughs> They're trying to stop me from, from pulling these things. They knew it. They knew all along. <laughs> oh, this is great. New mechanics, I love it. 
How how far can I make it go? I, I want to try to keep going with it. Till it reaches all the way over here, because I just want to see how tiny, how teeny tiny they get. Because this one's not necessarily a perspective anymore, but it becomes a fraction of the size of the original. <laughs> oh, 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 they fell! They fell the group, they're doing the domino! <laughs> Oh my, that is... Oh, it was so satisfying until the end and it did nothing! It's fine. We're jumping on this little... <laughs> this little ladder here. Okay. Weird. Alright, I guess I'm jumping down here. <laughs> Can make it go that way too? Strange. Alright, we got some clouds. They're going in the outside world? No. No. Of course not. It's never as it seems here. Oh? I see you, special Attention. little piece. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Yes. A significant memory loss, both Haven't quantitative and qualitative. Not yet. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. What is that? What is that up there? Is that a little box? There's a there's a piece over here that I can grabby grab, but I don't know how to. Oh, dude, we can do parkour. Jump off the side of this thing. Um. Right click to return. What? Oh. Oh! Oh, that's really cool! <laughs> that's really cool! Interesting. Okay, so I know how to potentially... <laughs> Get up here. <laughs> this isn't working, is it? This isn't working, is it? <laughs> I just need to get up there. Okay, 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 hold on. Let's make this guy as, oh, as large and in charge as possible. Okay, maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe just slightly too big. Um, I don't really know where I am right now. Okay, that's, that's okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh boy, I feel like I'm gonna break the game here. Can I jump over to you? Yes, I can, I can, okay. So we're just gonna keep, we're just gonna keep on stacking until I can get up here. <laughs> Still a little bit too big. So get there to there. You, big one, is gonna be, okay, that is not as big as I was hoping it would be. Um, ouchie. My head. Oh, that's right, we can do that. So right click will return it. Gosh dang it. But holding right click will still allow us to <laughs> do some things with it. Okay, we're just climbing, we're climbing. Whoa, oh my gosh, we're so we're so close. What is up there, by the way? I need to know. Okay, that is a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Okay, can I hop on top of you? So very close. <laughs> so close. Uh, is that gonna work? Oh, it's all falling over. <laughs> Crap. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, we're, we're very close. We're very close. Um. Oh, dang it. Okay, that might work. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know what that does, but we did it. <laughs> We've accomplished something here. Okay. Um, is there anything on this? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, weird. Oh, music starts cutting in when you go too high. All right, get them all back. Thank you, appreciate it. Very cool, very cool. So I guess we'll... Um, this through here 
Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh okay, that that was a mistake. Um get you like that, maybe? Put you like right here? Oh, that's too big. That's too big. Okay, there we go, here we go, here we go. We're doing it, we're doing it! Yeah! Ooh. Just barely. Oh, this is awesome. Perception is reality. Your friendly doctor. P.S. We'll get through this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, my cursor is a smiley face now? <laughs> when did that change? <laughs> When did that happen? I want my I want my little dot back, but I really wait. It's a little dot. Did the game just hear me? I sure hope not. I'd like my smiley face back. Please. Perception is reality. <laughs> no, I want smiley face back now. I I changed my mind. I changed my mind immediately. Water cooler. This is so suspicious looking. Got this dark silhouette over it. Uh, Apple. Right click to return. Oh. Well, that couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> that couldn't have gone any better. I was gonna try to grab it and drop it on top of it so it would just go like a boing, kind of bounce off, but. You know, I guess that works out perfectly to drop it accidentally on the guardrails here so that this one starts rotating and moving over. That's funny. Oh, one. So we can still switch between the radio stations for some reason. <laughs> I like radio station seven, though. My biggest fan. Hello. <laughs> okay, what is happening? What is up with these apples? What's down here? Oh. Um. Okay. What? Let's. Figure this out still. <laughs> if I keep putting apples in, hold on. We gotta go into turbo overdrive mode. <laughs> turbo overdrive mode. <laughs> Maybe we'll fill up the bottom space. I don't know. <laughs> Too many apples. So wait, 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 I gotta figure out what I'm supposed to do first. Guess that's an important thing. So I just need to open that? Maybe I can get these over. <laughs> no. All right, so somehow, I need to get the apples over here? Is that what it is? And if we grab it from the top one, we're only grabbing the real big ones. And maybe it will be enough to fill up the space? No, there's just too many apples. What happens if I jump down here? Oh, oh hey. Thank you. Good thing I just saw that. What if I uh, somehow jump on top of you? I don't know if this would do anything. I'm like wondering if I can duplicate anything with the fan as well. Or maybe there's something over here that I can mess with. It's 
take a look. Let's take a look. Important loading instructions. This skip is suitable for general waste only. Do not put hard fill. Concrete, soil, bricks, and stones. This will cause the skip to exceed maximum weight. Okay, yeah, whatever. Not very important for me. I can't seem to move the apples either. If I put it behind the fan somehow, I don't know if this would make any difference. Cause I can't grab and hold anything. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 don't you, don't you dare go away. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Dang it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, get them all back. <laughs> Maybe it is just these. Let's see if I can make a line coming all the way over here. This would be very silly if this was the actual solution. <laughs> We're gonna do our best though. We're gonna do our best to get them over. Come on, come on. Oh, it's so far, it's so far. Come on, little pieces. You can do it, I believe in you. You can do it, I believe in you. Oh, these, are, these are way too small. These are way too small. Okay, forget that. We gotta do something with the apple. I'm like thinking if I do enough of like the really big one. I'm trying to get the mouse just right. Here we go. And like enough of them. Like, maybe they'll be higher than the fan? <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. And you see two apples just kind of flew over, which makes me believe that there's some way to actually just turn off the fan. So let's, let's do another potential solution here. What are you plugged into? Are you even plugged in? Can I return you to something? All right, we're using, we're using as much critical thinking as possible here. Maybe I can block it with my body? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. So then what else in this environment can I interact with? it doesn't seem like it's anything at all. It, it's gotta be, <laughs> it's gotta be something really silly, right? It's gotta be something really silly that I'm just not expecting. Let's see. I can go in here, which is interesting in and of itself. So, hmm. Let's jump up and over. Put these all back. Sorry, what? <laughs> okay, let's just let's take a, a quick look around. Just front to back, front to back. We have big apple. Big fan with a big apple. A big apple can be manipulated. That's a given. A bench, a door, plant, all this railing. Fire alarm that can't be manipulated. When we try to go down there, it uh, just brings us right back. The fan does not push us, but it will push any of the apples, no matter where it gets to over here. So, my guess is that it's just something that is through here that I need to grab. 
<laughs> is there a possibility is just these little guys? I mean, th there is a small chance. There is a s very small chance that it could be... <laughs> that it could be this stupid little handles, right? <laughs> and if I do it enough... It should make its way all the way over here. But the question... The true question is... Are these gonna be... <laughs> weighty enough... To hold this button down? And I think the answer is no. But there's only one way to truly test this hypothesis. And that is to duplicate and bring these handles all the way over. Oh gosh. Why are you like this? Clone an object way too many times? No, are you kidding? Gosh dang it. Well, that's not an option. Apparently that's not an option at all. Oh man, this is this one's this this is the first puzzle in this entire game that's really got me stumped at this moment. I I've got another potential theory. If I do add an angle, yeah, there's no way they they just really are never going to make it. And it's really interesting too, like, the fact that there's a, a specified amount of times that you can duplicate something too. See, like these, these happen to work, kind of getting them enough, but they're already getting blown away. So that, that, that was like a thought of mine, is just to kind of keep attempting the duplication. But see that now the wind is blowing it. So maybe like if I could... Oh, see, like while you're still right there. Nope. <laughs> oh, gosh. See, they, they go flying. Oh. <laughs> this isn't working at all. <laughs> Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. I might have this, I might have this. I don't think this is the way to solve it, but I might have it. I might have it. Ooh. I can look straight down. Oh! And basically get them... Oh! Right here. Come on, little apples, come on! <laughs> I don't think this is the solution, but it's working, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Warning, Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. Okay. You will not receive these messages. Oh, thank you. They would not make sense regardless. I understand. Thank you for the notice. I'm so curious what the right way to solve that puzzle is. <laughs> okay. Private room. Somna script. S no, Somna Sculpt, Somna Gallery, <laughs> Sleep Clinic. I don't think that was supposed to happen. But you know what? It works. It's totally fine. Yeah, it's totally fine for with me. <laughs> cool. <sighs> Music's so good. Oh, let me let me go. Thank you. over there. Sure. Oh, it didn't matter either way.
<laughs> These little fake outs are always so funny. Just cardboard cutouts. Just making you think there's more to these little back rooms. Flashlight, can I have? How to start it, once again. Neuromality. Neuro Neuromorality. Dream Diary, May. Arr, I'm a pirate. Still more of this stuff. Got a vice or a workbench. Hello. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Pretty cool. What even is this? Oh, it's the whole soda machine. <laughs> it's the whole soda machine. <laughs> Oh, that's great. It's the whole freaking soda machine. Oh, and I can't. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Um, okay. Perception is reality. It's getting a little struggling over there. Some papers and things. Are you lucid dreaming? No. You don't notice anything. Nothing's happening with me. Perception is reality. March 1991. Did that change from the last one? I don't even know. Okay. I don't want you. In fact, I didn't want that one either. I do want you. Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt welcome experience, a team of your care leader patient years 10 development. I'm sorry? Struggle you whatever with? Professionally. <laughs> feel like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> age science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And but, no ifs or not yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Pierce. Appreciate that one. Always so insightful with all of his words of wisdom. What if I forget to set the alarm? Beep, 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 beep. Emergency exit protocol. Death by dream? Dream death? Bill's friendly family produce, farm to mind, mind to heart. Two miles ahead at the right, at the subconsciousness. Let's get, oh, oh, we're loading backwards now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's tricking us. It's a very Stanley parable and like the loading screen things and like the announcements that they gave us. 7 a.m. Have we finally woken to our real time or do we not get up that early? Oh. The relaxation room? Relaxing room is not relaxing. We've, we've learned this and I'm on observation duty. Yeah. Who had a dream? You had a dream? Yes. <laughs> this is a pretty relaxing little relaxing area. Well, I'm bored, I'm gonna keep moving. I wonder if it's going to throw in any more mechanics for us. Because we get new, like, sub-levels of dreaming as we go along. About us. Our mission. Hello. I'm Dr. <laughs> Hello. I'm Dr. Glenn Pierce. Somnusculpt is a company that strives to better mankind through the use of dream therapy to better understand how to solve people's problems. Once we get the kinks worked out and receive the proper funding, the world as we know it will be changed. Our mission. Is perception truly reality? That's the question we, uh, you are trying to answer. Our dice exhibit will astound and amaze you beyond your brain's co cognitive limit, thus opening your mind to the new possibilities found within this dimension. What does all of this reality mean? We don't know, but that's okay. We're working on it. Thank you, Dr. Glenn Pierce. I appreciate you. <laughs> Give it my best Glenn Pierce <laughs> recreation. Ah. So relaxing. Bring me into the clouds. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm out of here. Oh, it's Glenn Pierce. Hi. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a oh, more um that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do what Scottish you Irish as opposed to English. And discontinue whatever you were doing immediately what? prior to that. Ever. Huh. 
Yeah, definitely had his accent wrong. A janitor. Sweet chi. Okay, well, I guess we're just on the other side of here now. Can I interact with any of this? No. Back to the private room. Ah, yes. A very familiar sight to see. There's all of our chess pieces here on the ward. Does it get different? Does it change every time we go deeper into slumber? I don't know. I guess we'll find out as we go along. Okay, only a few sodies at a time again. Otherwise, it just breaks. That's okay, though. Oh, 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 oh. oh. All right, let's go! Ooh. Very cool. What time is it? In real life? Is that real time? No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not the real time. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're gonna go inside the house, aren't we? Oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. Oh, fragile. Don't worry. I'll handle you with care. I'll handle you with care. <laughs> Wait, I need to make the biggest house possible. I'm the biggest house. <laughs> I'm the biggest house. Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm too small for my big, big house. They always told me to dream big, but I dreamt a little too big this time. Oh, look, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I love how that looks. It's it is such a cool effect. It is such a cool effect to see stuff like that. Uh, let's get you right there. Maybe get you a little bit smaller like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe even a little bit. Maybe just a teeny, tiny bit smaller. <laughs> so cool, though. It is so cool. Yeah, let's go inside. See you later. Hippity hop. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So th that perspective, you see, you see it kind of like wobbling a little bit as you're walking to and fro. And then once you get inside is when it actually shifts and you're in that new environment. But even here, like I wonder, like if I accidentally made this a little bit too big, Oh, that's way too big. That is way too big. Like this. And then I try to jump up. It almost seems as though it's it's corrected my size upon that jump. So that's a pretty small jump. And I, I still look very small, like compared to these things. Like my, I, I can't see over this, uh, this little thing. So let's see if, if I can still see over them. Coming into here? No, I can't. Okay, so maybe it does kind of stick around. Yeah, because this is way too big now. I didn't get any sodies. I want my sodi back. Please. And thank you. Oh, that one worked. Oh, well now, <laughs> I'm much too big for this exit. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh. Oh, now we make it big. <laughs> Jump inside and we can crawl through this exit. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. I love these mechanics. <gasps> Dr. Glenn Pierce. Oh. I need my doctor. I need Dr. Glenn Pierce, please. Please give him back. I love that though. However big it is, it slows the music, or if it's smaller, it makes the music faster. Such a cool touch. Didn't think I was gonna miss you, did I? Oh, I like that slowed down music, but let me see. Can I take you with me? Oh. Okay. Fine enough with me. What's going on with the TV? <gasps> Dr. Glenn Pierce, are you there? Hello. My name Hello. is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, 
please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. Is that so? If this is not the <clears> case, <throat> you may be receiving this message in error. Are you saying we're going to have another nightmare section? Red light, green light, red light, green light. Cloud insert. Okay, we already saw that one. Not new to us. Because we're still following the red line. <laughs> Excuse you. There's a dangerous live wire there. Can I plug it in? Uh, can I touch you? This is... Giant Jenga. Giant Jenga! Giant Jenga, let's go! Let's destroy this thing! <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, let's jump in. Whoop! Obviously, it's not actually Jenga. Because then that'd be copyright. So then, therefore, it's just jumbling towers, which is something very recent I found out. That jumbling towers is the generic version of Jenga. Oh, for some reason I can interact with this window. Oh, oh, I can make it big and we can go inside. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy looking. This is wild, man. All right, we're going in. We're we're a little baby. We're a baby man. Fire extinguisher? Somewhere? Please? You can you you could probably hear it at this point. My computer is going into overdrive running this game. I think I saw some people in some of the comments being like, yo, how did they code this game? I think there's a lot of lot of stuff going on in the background. Obviously. Oh. Oh my inception. What is happening? This is a Wes Anderson film all of a sudden. Everything's symmetrical. It's Wes Anderson meets uh, Inception. That's what we got here. Can I can I go that way? That'd be pretty cool. Ah, Glenn Pierce. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational Ooh. quote by me. Oh, by you. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Thank you, Dr. Glenn Pierce. Imagine you're just looking at the, the game this way, and then all of a sudden you're just like, <laughs> like <laughs> Just going all kinds of weird sideways and upside down here. Bounce house? Ooh, I like the pool room. This is cool. Oh. Tiny pool. Here, I'll just put you up here. Oh, too big. Much too big. Um, still too big? How do I get out of here? Maybe I take you in there? Oh, gosh. Oh, dang it. It's still not, still not big enough. Um, so that's the right size. But I can't jump up now. Uh, eh, eh. Okay, taking you with me. Obviously, I need to get up. And then maybe over there. <laughs> this is weird. Come on. Hippity hoppity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Cause you're just like, oh yes.
<laughs> this seems like a good spot. And make it even bigger. Oh my gosh, you shouldn't be upside down like that. Stop it. Is that the right size? I don't know. Let's see if this works. Can, can I? Yeah, there's no way that's big enough, right? That's gotta be like the right size. But now it's all wacky. <laughs> can I get in there? Oh, I can almost go in there. I can almost go inside. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta get this just right, ever so perfect. Is that good? That might be good. Oh, if only I could crouch. Gosh, dang it. Okay, 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 no! Okay, it's fine. Oh, it's not fine. Everything's not fine. Everything is definitely not fine. Everything's not fine. Oh, I'm thinking about this too hard. I'm thinking about this a little too hard. I just need to do what I did in there exactly, but now out here. Right? That's exactly what I need to do. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, um, but there we go. Then I can jump over here, get onto the diving board, and now we can rotate and make this thing as big as we need it to be. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. No, 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 please stop falling on there. <laughs> Curse you, <laughs> diving board. Does it always bounce off of me. I don't understand. You know what? That just. Hmm. Now, see, that's too small yet again. <laughs> Will that do? <laughs> okay. Somehow it straightens me out. That's weird. That's wacky. That's wild. Should I be this small right now? <laughs> I, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay for now. We're just a tiny little mouse in this this great big world. Oh, I gotta jump over this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I understand. I understand completely. I needed to get way over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. We come out here. I can take you. Just kind of drop you right there. And voila, we've made it through. I love these ones. These ones are some of my favorite puzzles so far in this game. <gasps> Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello, my name Hello. is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. <laughs> this That's will a lot. assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Sounds good. I can play piano? I wish you could play the individual notes, but I understand why not. Hello? I'm inside of a tiny box with a little keyhole. I would like to, I'd like to be free. Please, please let me be free. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wait, hold on, what? These connect to one another? So if I come out of here, I will be big? <laughs> Hold on. 
this one's this one's breaking my brain a little bit. Um, so I assume I need to make you as large as possible. Yeah. And then for you. Wait, what if I made you teensy tiny and fit you through the, 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 the keyhole here? Is that I wonder if that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That is so cool. I'm assuming here, I'm gonna go grab, grab both of these, because like maybe I do need them for this next part. Oh my, oh my gosh. This is wild. This is so wild. All right, are we, are we going for it? I'm going for it, let's go! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Uh oh, you big boy. You're a big boy now. <laughs> so, I'm assuming I could probably use the same theories to make myself ever so slightly bigger in this world as well. Oh my gosh, look at this though. Look at how cool this is. Big apple, chess pieces. There's a little house over here that I can get to. But I don't know where this takes me. Oh, it takes us so long to move around. I'm assuming if I drop down here, I'm not really gonna have a way to get back up. So what happens if I take this little house? this this is insanity this is insanity I mean it's the perfect size I'm very curious about what else is around here though so stick with me for just a minute I'm going to test a theory really quickly. <sighs> oh boy, okay, yep, a little bit bigger now. Look at that. We should look at that. I'm in this world now. Incredible, incredible. Okay, this this has got to be one of the cooler set pieces I've seen in a video game in a very long time. Because we have this little entrance and this one. And this one will just be like, shwip. <laughs> and now I'm so tiny compared to this massive thing. That is so cool. What I was very curious about though is is if there's anything over here, please use other door, that I should be looking at. What if there was a super teeny tiny blue chess piece that I wasn't, like, I wasn't supposed to see? Or that I couldn't see as a large, large guy like this? I truly don't know. But as of now, oh, wait a second. Oh, okay, I thought I could interact with that door. I guess not. Well then, um, let's put you back there, jump on through, and I think it's time to go inside of the house. It's house time, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. There we go. And that's it. That's the end of this level. Oh, this is great. Five to six dreams is the absolute... Function overloading, C sharp sharp, C plus plus. Uh, volume of a cube into volume, integers return something. 
Volume of cylinder, double volume, double or return. What's the emergency protocol to the emergency protocol? Volume of a cuboid, long volume. Okay, sure. Let's go. Meeting for Cardboard Lovers Association, November 2nd, 1991, Association Clubhouse, seven o'clock, agenda, something. <laughs> I wish I could have kept reading that. Oh, oh, the loading keeps going forever and ever. Good morning. It's three in the morning. Snooze. What are we gonna get ourselves into this time? Oh, hey. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10. No. 9. No. 8. No, no, no. Error. Oh. Error logged by. Orientation <laughs> protocol. I wasn't done. Stand by for analysis. Okay. Waiting for analysis. I don't want to leave this place yet, please. Please, I'm not done. Oh. More red paint. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is no. inconceivable, as some no. sculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. I mean, this is your guys' whole place. You can't blame me. Sody. I'm go for a green soda right now. I used to love flavored sodas. Oh, hello? Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. What's the conclusion? Impossible. Oh. Reformulating. Do not enter. I'm like looking around to see if there's anything unique or special in any of these little, like, cubby holes. But uh, it doesn't seem to be so. Or anything to interact with, maybe? Improved hypothesis. Yes. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. No, thank you. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Instruction. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. Okay. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Oh. I was like, what do you want me to do? Hello? <laughs> Who's keeping me prisoner in my own dreams? Please. Please let me out. I've, I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I need to go home. I need to wake up in my comfy, cozy bed. Yes? What do you want from me? I'm stuck in this, this eternal loop. No, let me. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> let me turn this annoying alarm off. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See you later. Oh, 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 oh. Hello? I hear another alarm. Is it coming closer to me? Is it going to make me wake up again in the same little bed? Oh, more diet soda. Yes. Love. Give me some diet soda. I'm going to ignore it. I don't care about these stupid alarms. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to wake up. I just want to go home. Technically, I'm home already, but I don't know where that is. Oh, hi. Really? You gonna do this to me again? No fence this time. <laughs> Strange. Oh. Hello? I like the music. Did I actually wake up this time? Is this the real awakening? Private.
Strange. Can I go over here? Can I go back to bed? Maybe? Oh? <gasps> oh, what? What? Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Is this gonna be my exit? Is this gonna be my way out of here? I think it might be. <gasps> this is what we always saw on the diagrams. This was what was always on the whiteboard, right? Dr. Glenn Hello. Pierce. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite Music is very loud here. nature of the dream state. Okay, didn't get to describe it, that's fine. Bloop. Bloop. Rice and shipping box. Rice cakes and assorted candles. Candles? Candies. Assorted candies, got it. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> oh, this is bizarre. This is, oh, this is very bizarre. What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's the new exit. I see. Oh, this is, this is so strange and so bizarre. This is great though. Huh. Oh my gosh, my brain. All right, there's a crack in the painting. Hello? Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. It's over here, though. I'm very curious. How far backwards can I walk? Oh, that's it. Okay, um... What is happening? Oh? Oh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was not supposed to happen! Oops. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, this is insanity. Uh, I think I just <laughs> need to go into the elevator. Ooh, let's pull this first. Yoink. Yeah, the cloud insert. That's what it was talking about the whole time. This music is very intense. There's nothing here anymore. Strange. Very strange. Exit temporarily moved. Well, thank you. Ooh. Recycle cardboard only. Recycle the recycling. Perception is not reality. No trespassing. Stop. Dead end. Huh. Hello? Dang it. I was like, oh, what if I don't look at it? I'm not perceiving it then. Oh. Oh. Wait. What? So you have to look in the opposite direction that you want to actually go. 
because wherever you look, it's going to stop and put a fake wall there. That's wild. That's wild. That's really cool. <laughs> okay, so we're continuing to get it right. We're on the hall five now. And there we go. This is so cool. This is so cool. Okay. Can I go in the water? No. Looks too big. Oh, I almost made it up. Heep. Oh, oh, come on. Not quite how I needed it. Uh. Where? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did it? Okay, I'm just... <laughs> so now you're a little too big now. A little, just a little too big. I don't know how you disappeared, though, like that. <gasps> Is there one up there? Is there a special thing up there? No, I don't think so. Give me your sodas. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Excuse me! Come back here! respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be this able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Interesting. some like crazy dumb stuff here okay you should stay please and thank you here, actually come back over here I feel like I'm gonna need you shortly diet green soda okay I guess we're uh we're just we're just jumping in we're just going we're going so now we're like coming back through oh my gosh what is happening? What is happening? Okay, get you up there. I would jump up here, grab you, put you there. We have our bed. This feels this feels like This feels like the end. Maybe. I don't know. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> the cave really doesn't want me to jump over these things. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, sure, sure. Yeah, I'll just jump. <laughs> what is happening? Turn it off! Perception is reality. Oh, this is cool. What am I looking for? What am I looking for that's different? Oh yeah. Okay. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Interesting. So will this take me? Wait, oh, wait a second, what? When did that just happen? When did that just happen? <laughs> that is wild. That is so cool. This is literally breaking my brain. Sircon, annual conference this week. Elevator. Well then. Guess I'll just follow the moon. 
What is happening? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> is this a fake wall? Oh no, I saw, <laughs> I saw that. Stop that. I see where the walls break. I'm not crazy. You're creating the wall out of nothing. Out of nothing, watch. Watch it. See, there it is. It disappeared. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, hold on. I will get through this. Please let me through. Please let me through. No! Finally boxed me in. It's finally happened. Welcome. Interesting. Sure, I'll press the alarm. Loading. Oh, it's a box. <laughs> Stop it, Xbox Game Pass. I gotta shut you up. <laughs> I don't play Game Pass games much, but man, this is making me just really hate this. Are we actually awake? This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Paradox Behavior 101. Reminder, call jingles, man. man re sorry, reminder, call jingle, jungles management? Music too dang loud. Scent of burnt to curry. Shipments of food coming here. Don't have space for more. Ask if they hand out flyers for testing. Also ask Ryan Medical for increased canister order frequency. Five, six, seven, white space. What did I do? What did I just do? Warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Oh. Am I... <laughs> Did I just create a paradox and I brought something outside of itself? And then if I go into here, it will be... Gone? Wait. Now I'm extra confused. Um. Oh. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my gosh, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh! Oh, I think I broke the game. Oh, I think I broke the game. I think I legitimately broke the game here. <laughs> Did I actually break the game? I may have actually broken the game. <laughs> I can't make it big enough. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're fine. I think we're doing just fine. I, I, I legitimately think I broke the game. I do not think that was supposed to happen. Um... Because how else? Hold on. I gotta get this just right. Oh no. Oh, I definitely broke the game. I most definitely broke the game here. Wait, no, no. I'm inside of it now. <laughs> I'm inside of it now. Please let me in. <laughs> Please let me in. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Let me restart this level. <laughs> I, 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 I truly do think I just broke it. This is okay. highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Okay, so that's just a brick wall to start. 
diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. But this is just this side. So once we come through here, then it becomes a spot right there. And now we've opened the door. So then if I come back this way, it'll come back through here. But will it still be open on that side? Yes, it will. Okay. So then if I take you and bring you through. Oh, that's what was supposed to happen. Got it. Got it. All right. Let's just go on through. Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. Okay, result. Please paradox overload. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll go back. I'm going through again. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to break it all. We're waking up. Are we finally waking up? I can't tell. It's so light. It's hard to see. Um... Yes. Not an exit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so wild. So what is it then? Staircase. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. What? What do I do with the big, the big box though? Hello. Keep going. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello, Glenn. And many years ago, I had a dream. Yes, tell me about it, please. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. <clears throat> White space. Okay. Once again, very insightful, Dr. Glenn Pierce. Not very helpful, though. <laughs> oh, still get sodas. Still got us. Odie. Fly, soda, fly! Get out of here! <laughs> Go free, please! Okay. <clears throat> is this going to change into something else or be much smaller or bigger than it looks? This is great. This is great. Something in there. But what? Ah, erase me, relax yet. Minerals, female toads. Ah! Very nice. There's nothing written on here. I like the grayscale of everything, except for you, not an exit. Strange enough. Oh? Oh? Just walking into darkness, this is fine. Oh, oh, oh! Let's go! Oh, this is so weird! Oh! Another blueprint! I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those. 
or if there is anything to do. Like, is that just like an achievement hunting thing, maybe? I don't know. What is this? Can, can I take the curve and just walk straight here? Oh no, it blocks me. Dang it. Okay, well, get back to it. Jump into here. Shwoop. So heavenly, the music, it calls to me. Is that the alarm? I'm so close. Oh no, it's Dr. Glenn Pierce. Doctor, doctor, speak to me. Speak to me, doc. I can't climb up. Oh, oh, I can get up. Doctor. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Hmm. Strange. <laughs> what, what is going on here in this ending? We're getting into like the ultimate just crazy mind manipulation stuff. Okay, let's flip the switch. Oh. Sure, yeah, 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 that's fine. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh? Oh! <laughs> what the? This is wild. This is so cool. Okay, we can tell there's- oh, No! Take it. Room there and a room there. Let's go here first, I guess. What's over here? Is this just loop back around? Can I go past these? I can, okay. Um, maybe to the other side. <laughs> okay, that's as far as I can go over there. Ah, ah, ha, ha, found you. Suckers, they'll never know where, where else they can put me. It's like oil, it's like dark oil on the floor. You're well beyond dreaming now and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Hmm. Isn't that why you came here? Ah, interesting. <laughs> the water cooler. Chess pieces. So strange. Ah, oh, I love that effect. That is such a cool, <clears throat> cool effect with the black and white. Oh, chess pieces. Oh, oh. What? What, what just happened? <laughs> Why did I just start bouncing? Uh, am I supposed to use these to find out where I can and can't go? Because that seems like a solid piece. Yes. Then you. No! Should have picked it up. 
Why did I pick it up? Weird. This is this is a this is an interesting puzzle here. Oh boy, you are much. <laughs> there we go. So I keep you there. Oh, weird. So I can't actually, like, it like does not want me to be able to set it there. If I grab you from there, put you there, it makes a solid space. So I'm I'm literally making the floor materialize through perspective, only by allowing the chess pieces to be present on that floor. Though, that's a really cool, cool effect. Wait, wait. Before I go through, can I go around? No. What is happening? Now I can go through. Yes. But why? Cheese block, that's why. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, so... Oh boy. I'm assuming the black one is fine? And the white one's okay here? But it doesn't matter, there's no like fall damage or anything in this game. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> what? This is wild. The kaleidoscope effect. This is so cool and trippy. My eyeballs. <laughs> Exit. Seven fifty-nine a.m. We're about to wake up. Eight o'clock. Is that it? Is that the end? Loading. Beep, 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 beep. Eight a.m. Well, good morning. No, I didn't get to look around. Wait. What is happening? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello, Glenn Pierce. By now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Ah. Uh. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. This is cool. The problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The Sorry, the music is very loud here. So afraid of it's hard to hear him. That we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. We're like walking backwards through everything right now. Ooh. This is great. Caution, do not cross. Your 
Life will Ooh. always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you <laughs> found your way. This is great. Yeah, we're just going backwards through everything we've already done. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. Ooh. Some part of you will say that none of this was real. Oh! So, how could it have really meant anything? Oh! Just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait up. That's the beginning of the game right there. Just wake up. There it is, super liminal. Ah, so good, that's so good. Ah. Very well done. Very, 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 very well done with this game. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Okay, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna have the credits roll. I'll be here in the background and I'll jump back in when everything's all done. Thanks for dreaming. This is the, I'm assuming the very ending of the credits here. Can I interact with it? Oh, and that's it. Wake up, achievement unlocked, beat the game. Very cool. Thank you, Xbox Game Pass, <laughs> for the little achievement unlock. That was super liminal. Wow, what a what a fantastic game. I, like I mentioned in the first video, I've seen snippets of this game here and there. I think I've like watched the first like 20 minutes of the game. Uh, prior extra modes, challenge mode, developer commentary, summon sculpt, workshop, beta. Huh. I, I have to click it, I'm, I'm curious. Um, <clears throat> but I only ever saw like the, the shifting of perspective things and I didn't, uh, never really thought. Click on the water cool to import objects, import file. Oh, oh, this is quite literally importing your own things. Oh, that's cool. Dream construction. Oh, interesting. So I bet there's like a bunch of mods that people have done. Oh yeah, look at that. Play dream, not completed. Oh, cool. <laughs> a little confetti. Oh, that's that's really cool that they have all this kind of built in here. Anyway, let's go back to the main menu. Um, but yeah, I, I've seen just like small snippets, like little clips here and there. It's always the, the perspective shifting things. And I never knew about any of the like really more kind of trippy aspects where you're going sideways, you're upside down, the up is down or up is left and right instead of down and up and like getting into the real trippy, like the color perspective. That was just such a cool little complex piece to the ending. And even the paradox section was super cool, kind of going through that. And I, the, the game just continues to surprise you the further and further you get along into it. Uh, as if the very beginning of the game isn't already exciting and surprising in and of itself, just with the way that the game manages to make things bigger and smaller, just depending on where you're looking at it and holding it in a room. Such a wonderfully made puzzle game. And um, I mean, it even has like a, a nice little, 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 little story in there as well that you came to this place looking to change your perspective. And it wasn't until you finally got through all of this that you learned how to do so. And it's cool. I, I saw a comment that it mixes like a Stanley parable and portal. And there, I, I could definitely see, I could definitely see that in kind of what this game is, gets influences from, but keeps as its own unique identity. But absolutely love playing that. Thank you all for coming along on this journey with me. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you did, 
Make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.